Good afternoon. The UK border agency denies that passengers were allowed through Durham Tees Valley Airport without any controls. The allegations come after leaked emails from border officials were published by the Labour Party. Newcastle Airport was also confirmed as one of the borders where biometric passport checks were suspended. Francis Reid is at Durham Tees Valley Airport for us this lunchtime. Yes, well, these emails suggest that not only did some passengers escape passport controls, but they escaped any border controls whatsoever. The emails were leaked by the Labour Party and show a UK border agency official at Durham Tees Valley Airport raising concerns about private jets in particular. It claimed no custom checks took place either, and the MP for the area says it's very worrying. Well, is this something that's just happened at Durham Tees Valley Airport? Is it happening at Newcastle? and the other regional airports around the country. I don't know, but we need to find out and get to the bottom of this, because I think it's a major concern for people. And I think people in Teesside today can ask, how secure are we? Because it's not just illegal immigrants, it could be terrorists that are using those planes as well. Well, no one from Durham Tees Valley Airport will speak to us. They say it's a UK border agency issue and not something they would comment on. But the UK border agency are denying that private flights were exempt, saying it is not true that we don't carry out passport checks on private flight passengers and we deploy officers to airfields where we have concerns. Still, it raises a lot of questions as to exactly what was going on at our borders over the summer. Francis Reid reporting. An 11-year-old girl has been left scarred for life after being bitten by a dog. Amy Lamont was playing in a park in Lockerbie on Sunday when it happened. She was bitten several times on her arms and legs. The dog, believed to be a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, has now been seized and a 19-year-old woman has been reported to the Procurator Fiscal. What would it be like for any mother to see that? Her legs, oh, her legs were dripping, they were cut to bits. In fact, I really thought they were going to give her stitches at the hospital, but they said because of a, because it's a dog bite, they couldn't give her stitches because of infection. A 68-year-old man is in hospital after suffering serious burns in a fire in the Scottish borders. The fire crews were called to a first-floor property in Langley Road in Galashiels just after 10 o'clock last night. Brian Hart also needed treatment for breathing in smoke. He was taken to Glasgow Royal Infirmary. Police have confirmed that the death of a man in the borders is being treated as suspicious. The body of 43-year-old Christopher Swales was found in a flat in Hoyk yesterday. Officers say they're following a positive line of inquiry, but they're calling for anyone who may have seen anything suspicious to contact them. A police officer has escaped uninjured after his vehicle overturned in Chester Street. The Durham police van ended up on its side just after 9 o'clock this morning. Witnesses say they heard sirens, then saw the van slide along the road in the marketplace. A black Toyota was at the scene with slight damage. I just saw the car skidding across the road. It seemed to hit the curb, and then um, there's a large group of people went along to the car to try and help the driver out of the car. Um, he managed to sort of get himself out of the uh, door that wasn't blocked by the road. I didn't know what was happening at the time. What I just heard was sirens, um, and then a lot of people just rushed over to the, the van to see if anything happened. And everybody was okay. As MPs prepare to debate the rising cost of fuel amid a public outcry, businesses say the situation is becoming critical. In commuter towns like Prudet in Northumberland, they warn the price of fuel is crippling the local economy. Some shops have had to cut the number of hours they are opening, while others, like this petrol station, say they're struggling to make any profit at all. We are struggling. We have to take the price as given by the suppliers, place our markup on it, which very rarely changes, uh, and try to support it with savings. Um, family run the business at the weekend because we can't afford to employ staff to supply fuel. We have customers who come in here three times a day and put three pounds in their tank. If you equate three pounds to litres, it's a litre and a half. More on that story along with the rest of the day's news and sport for you in our programmes at six o'clock. That's it from us for now, though. The weather forecast is here from you next from the lunchtime team. Bye-bye.